In the early 1960s, the Indian Railways aimed to replace its mainline steam locomotives to diesel locomotives. To achieve this aim, Indian Railways required building a large number of diesel locomotives producing at least 2,600 horsepower with road switcher caps. Thus, Indian Railways began looking at various diesel electric designs like DC-DC type, AC-DC type, AC-DC-AC type. Now, let us understand the working of various diesel locomotive components and their lubrication system. With this, welcome to the module on lubrication in diesel locomotives. In this module, we will understand working principle of diesel locomotives, various components of diesel locomotives, lubrication in diesel locomotives and servo lubricants and greases used for lubrication of diesel locomotives. The basic working principle of a locomotive comprises of a large diesel engine turns a shaft to produce electricity. The output current is then fed to a transformer which controls the voltage as produced by the alternator. This current is fluctuating. This current is then converted into a steady direct current through a rectifier. The DC power is converted to three-phase AC supply through an inverter and fed to the traction motor. There are six traction motors, each connected to one axle, which in turn has two wheels attached to it. The rotation of these wheels are ultimately powered by the traction motors. A water-based coolant is used to keep the engine from getting too hot. Additionally, a motor blower cools the transformer, rectifier and the inverter. The eight parts of a typical diesel locomotive comprises of nose, driver's cabin, control panel, traction generator, engine room, compressor, radiator, under truck, bogey and under frame. The nose compartment comprises of dynamic braking grid resistance. These grids get heated up when current passes through them during dynamic braking. Grid cooling, blower and motor. It is a DC motor with a blower that cools dynamic braking grids during dynamic braking. Driver's cabin, control stand. A control stand is a diesel locomotive subsystem which integrates engine functional controls, air brake function controls, whereby all functional controls are within the reach of the locomotive driver. Traction Generators The main generator or traction alternator rotates at engine speed generating AC power. Rectifiers are covered within the generator assembly, convert the AC power to DC and the DC output is applied to DC link. Switch gear and contactors supply DC voltage to traction inverter circuits. The traction inverters convert the DC link voltage to three-phase AC power for the traction motors. Engine base, engine block. Engine block houses eight cylinders on each side in V arrangement. In this way, a total of 16 cylinders can be fitted in an engine block. In engine block, there is a cavity for cooling water circulation. Engine block is made of steel plate welded together and mounted on an engine base with the help of nuts and bolts. A V-type gallery is provided as an air inlet manifold. The engine may also have a 12-cylinder V12 design like in WDG 4G diesel locomotives being designed by GE Vaptec for Indian Railways. V12 engines are now also being used in the GE Vaptex Jivo engine. Air intake system, turbo supercharger. The primary use of the turbocharger is to increase air supply to the engine to produce more horsepower and providing better fuel efficiency by the utilization of exhaust gases. Inertial air intake filter. The inertial air inlet filters are cyclonic type consisting of many filter tubes and stationary vanes mounted in a single assembly that filters clean air required by the engine for combustion of fuel. Secondary air intake filter. A secondary engine air filter, oil coated, 
and made of fiberglass is provided to filter the remaining contaminants after cooler after cooler cools the compressed air before entering the air box by its efficient heat exchange capacity thus clean and compressed air is available for combustion of the fuel fuel injection pump fip fip injects the fuel oil in atomized form in the cylinder through high pressure tube and fuel injector governor governor is a hydraulic servo mechanism used to control the position of the injection pump racks on the diesel engine thereby controlling the fuel injection that ultimately changes the engine's speed these types of governors are electro hydraulic governors ge mechanical hydraulic governor woodward governor microprocessor water circulating pump in the water cooling system there are two engine mounted water pumps centrifugal type the water pump receives water from the radiator through lube oil cooler the compressor compartment consists of two stage three cylinder air compressor which is mechanically driven by the drive shaft from the front or accessory end of the locomotive engine intercooler the low pressure compressed air from the air compressor is passed through an intercooler the intercooler reduces the temperature of compressed air boki a high adhesion hdsc high tensile steel cast truck or boki assembly is a bolsterless unit that supports the weight of the locomotive and provides the means of transmission of power to the rails traction motor traction motor is a three phase ac motor and has high reliability and higher energy efficiency in braking mode the three phase motor acts as generators and power is fed back to the dc link via the two inverters lubricating oil system the complete engine lubricating oil system consists of scavenging oil system the scavenging oil pump is a positive displacement helical gear type pump this pump draws oil from lube oil sump through scavenging strainer and supplies to main lube oil pump through lube oil filter and cooler main lubricating oil system the main lubricating oil system supplies oil under pressure to cool the piston and lubricate most of the moving parts of the engine piston cooling oil system a piston cooling oil pipe at each cylinder directs a stream of oil to cool the underside of the piston crown and lubricates the ring belt oil after cooling and lubrication drains back into the oil sump soak back or turbo loop system to ensure lubrication of the turbocharger prior to the engine start and the removal of residue heat from the turbo after engine is shut down a separate lube oil pressure source is provided an electrically operated turbo soak back pump draws oil from the oil sump feeds the oil through a soak back filter and finally to the turbo now let us see the lubricants developed by IOCL for diesel locomotives engine oil servo RR 606 MG plus 2 servo magnum RR 610 traction motor bearing grease servoplex shc 120 compressor oil servopress cds gearbox oil servosyn gear for 60 rr auxiliary machine bearing spherical roller bearings servogem rr3 traction motors gear case servo coat 170t so far we have understood the eight compartments of a diesel locomotive and their functioning servo greases and lubricants developed by IOCL for lubricating different parts of locomotive thank you for watching